Hi guys, I want to share a dream I had again about gun violence. But um, as I'm speaking to you, I'll be drawing my blueprint of what I saw in this dream and how I woke up speaking to myself in terror because I was so scared. And yeah. So in this dream, I had gone on a tour or something, and <laughs> and I come <clears throat> and come out with my brother, and I was like, this building reminds me of some other building I've I've been in, and yeah, we were just talking, and so we came back and we sat back down in my brother's car, and we were about to leave somewhere, <clears throat> and. As we were in the car, we were talking. I do not remember the conversation we were having. But, um, <clears throat> we saw a man, a portly Caucasian man, and he was carrying a bass guitar case. I know this because I know a bass guitar case. You know, those long cases, like this long, you know, and black case, and has the handle or whatever. So he was holding a black guitar case, and he, <clears throat> yeah, and he was trying to get it out of the two doors, right? And so I just drew it right now. But here's the guy, portly man, right? And he's like in his 40s, you know, a little raggedy. <laughs> and he was carrying a guitar case, and he was trying to come down the stairs, but one of the doors closed on the guitar case. And he, as we were trying to pull it out, he took a misstep down one of the three stairs. And then he tumbled down to the floor and rolled onto the grass. Right there. See, so he fell down the stairs. And I guess his buddy came and he argued with his buddy. This dude argued with his buddy and then... His body ended up driving off. Okay. So the guy was so mad because he fell down the stairs. His guitar, uh, his yeah, his guitar case was hurt or something. Something happened, and he, I guess, he had very like anger issues, right? And he got really mad, like really enraged, like it was like road rage without a car. And he started like cursing and walking around with fists like so mad like oh and then jumping up and down in anger and my brother and I were looking at it, and I was especially paying attention and this guy was approaching us basically and there were cars driving off and yeah he was approaching us okay so he left and he was approaching us not necessarily looking at us and I was like oh my gosh Oh my gosh, I don't want this guy to come here. I don't want him to see us. I'm so scared. Can we please drive off? Can we please drive off? Because out of nowhere, he started holding a gun. I'm like, oh my gosh. And I thought to myself, people hold guns around? Like, oh my gosh. Like, wow. And I was like so scared. I, mean, I, could, I could feel my heart beating in my sleep. And by the same time, I did not know I was asleep. You know, those so dreams where it feels so real. You do not know you're asleep, but it's feel so real like you were there and so I was like oh my gosh please let's drive off please let's drive off please let's drive off I was begging him let's, let's go before he, he uses us as our first vic as his first victim so here we are my brother's car and this guy's walking down the road with his gun in anger and rage and we um exit out from the parking to the rest of the cars onto the exit to go on the highway this is the highway so we do. We get onto the highway, and my brother is driving. We're driving around. Here we are. See, we're driving around in the car. Yeah, and then we started talking about police cars and how, uh, I'm not sure. Let me look up this right now. I am so unprepared for this. Okay. So, we're talking about, um, how my brother liked police car, and police cars and how he wanted to get one. And, <clears throat> I was like, and then somehow, you know those police cars where they have that machine that when you're speeding, yeah, when you're speeding, and then they, they, it catches what, you know, what, how fast you're going, right? So, 
um, we had that one in the car for some reason, I don't know. So we were driving, and he's like, guess what? And I was like, what? He's like, I got a police car, like a police model car. Like, the one, well, I guess, it was, it's not a Crown Victoria one. It was another one, like the newer versions. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah. So, as we were going, let me continue with this thing. As we were going, my brother was speeding down the road. Um, and this other car was trying to make a U-turn onto our road. Like, go the other way. I right? you know some highways have that. And here we are, driving down the road, la la la, minding our own business. I was looking at him, but I ended up looking to the road. And as we were driving, I see this car. This is the, this car. These cars are going in this direction, and the cars here are going like. Oh, I do this wrong. No, the cars. Okay, the cars here are going in this direction, and we're going in that direction. So this car is trying to make a U-turn, right? So, and then as they're making this U-turn, they hit. They hit. This car in front of us. This is us, right? We jump the road. La 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 la. They hit us. And these two cars spun around. Oh, sorry, I forgot. There's another car right here. There's another car in the middle. These two cars hit each other. They spun around. This car breaks. But we are going so fast that there's still time to break. Because we don't trust our brakes. So we swerve away and then I woke up like yelling my brother's name. Not yelling, but like, yeah. I don't think I've ever woke up, woken up talking before. It was so scary. And I think what caused me to have this dream was the tragedies going on. And my brother and I talking about cars earlier. And um, me asking God for another rapture dream. And that's what I got. That And it just reminds me how that there's fast-paced events going on. And things are just going to get more crazy. Because... We are stubborn people, basically. But be careful, be safe. Pray for the welfare of your family and for the welfare of those people with evil intentions. And um, pray for our kids today because they're going to be in for such a ride that is worse than our generation. Well, in generations before me, life just seems to get worse and worse. And train up your kids. If you're a parent, please train up your kids in the way they should go and they should not depart from that. And, um, yeah. I just wanted to share this dream in my head. I just wish it was a rapture dream. But I, I'll post a link of another gun violence dream I had before. About this kid who was mad and he started shooting on the houses. Okay, God bless.